Hi folks. Kind of a disturbing visit to the horde today. Um, one of my neighbors dropped by. Uh, occasionally, sometimes in the background of my um, videos, you can hear what sounds like a motorcycle racing. He's down the street a ways. He lives alongside a farm that's that's down there. And the farm, to kind of get along with the community, allows a lot of the folks that work for the highway department to bow hunt to get rid of the deer. They don't want them hunting with uh, guns because occasionally there are people floating around and they don't want the arrows or the bullets to go far and whack somebody. Um, they also have animals there. They don't want any of their animals getting shot up. They figure bow hunting safer and it gets rid of the deer, which is somewhat of a nuisance. So anyway, his property line is right alongside the property line of the farm, so he knows a bunch of these highway people from, you know, just being around the neighborhood and from um, meeting them at the property line. So um, he basically asked them that, hey, guys, you know, I deer hunt also, so if you shoot one and you track it onto my property, cool, but generally speaking, I don't want you guys, like, setting up tree stands and hunting my property. So while talking to them, um, they discussed the rest of this little island of property that I'm part of, and um, and my 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 name didn't come up, but you, you know my property came up, and uh, and the discussion was that it was well known about town what I have cooking back here that the, this is no surprise to the town I guess the Google map or whatever and, uh, and I was discussed well the good news that came from that is as long as there are no complaints there the town has no plans on bothering me I guess I as they Google Earth the town. I'm not the only character with this situation cooking. Um, so anyway, I guess that's good news. The disturbing news that he brought to the house is that kids are running around the back here and particularly at his house they were tearing things up and they were tearing things up at the farm. That brings scrutiny that's not needed not needed at all. He also indicated that um, a few down from me, um, there's a New York State trooper. Turns out he's retired. He was with the Troopers, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation, BCI, which is kind of exclusive. Um, a lot of times at 10, 11 o'clock at night, I'll hear gunshots. Um, I mean, he's a halfway decent distance away but not further than a bullet could travel unfortunately and uh, turns out he was relieved from his uh, his uh, position because he went a little bit crazy and back to the gunshot thing so I kind of kind of brought some disturbing news I'm not exactly thrilled that um, the horde has been a little bit of a topic of discussion. I mean, they're not going to do anything about it, but I'm once again, I'm not ha happy it's that well known about. I'm not happy that there are kids running around in the trails back there a little ways, because sooner or later, as they're floating about, depending on how adventurous it is, they can easily follow the trails to the back of my home here. And my, you guys have seen from various videos that um, that once you kind of get to the back here, um, y you know, I obviously have a lot of toys that I don't want to go away. Um, and I'm not happy that those kids are bringing scrutiny. Um, guy was cool, you know, obviously you don't want to cause me any trouble. Gave him some pepperoni to bring home, right, because neighbors are cool and you 
want to want to be friends, right? But I'm not happy about the scrutiny. So anyway, I'm mentioning it. Um, well, well, mostly because I'm not happy about it. I guess the good news is nobody plans on bothering me. But um, it just kind of seems like the vultures are circling a little bit. I'm uh, I'm going to continue up continue with my cleanup and uh, moving some stuff on that I, I don't plan on keeping. I guess, I guess that's, you, you know, whenever one finds something they don't like, you should put together a plan. And I guess I'm already on a plan, so I'll just keep going forward with it. I just figured I'd mention it. Um, I guess not, not too much of a surprise, right? You, uh, you live in a town and sooner or later you end up with trouble. Um, anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.